Here we have the HC05 Bluetooth module, and with this, we can transmit data to and from any device to compare with the Bluetooth, say a computer or a phone. I've linked the Bluetooth module to an Arduino, which I will be powering off of a 9 volt battery right here. The blinking light here, if it's blinking in this pattern, that means that it is ready to be paired with the device, but it's not yet paired. I will pair this device with my phone through a Bluetooth terminal that allows me to send data and receive data, so I can connect to HC05. The first time you do this on any device, you will have to enter in a passcode, and that passcode is 1234. And as if you notice here, the light now blinks with two, two flashes every once in a while. That means it is paired and is, can send and receive data. So now I can send data. Right now the program is set so that if I send A, this little LED here will turn on, like so. And if I send anything else, it turns it off. A, on, anything else, off. All right, so now I'm changing the programming on the Arduino so that whenever I send data to whenever I send data to the Arduino via Bluetooth, it will respond with hello world. A thing to note, if you're co coding Arduinos, you will have to remove the TX and RX pins from the, the, which are connected to the, to the Bluetooth module, otherwise the coding fails for unknown reasons. So I will upload this And we're ready to go. Unplug. So now I'll repair with the device. And if I send something, I'll just send H, I get hello world back. If I send in a stream of stuff, I get hello world a bunch of times. For every time I sent a character, I can send numbers. I get a hello world for every character I send. Alright, so with this Bluetooth module we can wirelessly send and receive data from an Arduino or whatever we'll be using. So the next step I would see after this would be to monitor, say, uh, plug in a temperature probe into one of these ports and have it send the data every second or so and see if we can save that and record it, kind of like making a a mini lab quest. And further in the future I would see something like music where we have to sample pretty quickly and see if we can reconstruct it on the other end. You can buy these modules on Amazon for about eight dollars or so. They have six pins, two pins for power and ground, one pin for transmitting, and one pin for receiving. And these two pins in the end are for more advanced usages that I don't really understand.